Yeah. Look at this. That's a good, good fish. game is uh, patience. Uh, I got a good cast, got all the way out there on the reef and there is a, there is a slight current shifting our bait from my left to my right. So the idea is to let it drift, you know. The temptation is to get the line in when you don't get bites but you have to remember that bigger fish are waiting on the inside and the outside of the current so if your bait is in the current and it's slowly drifting that's good that's a good thing you know because the bigger fish they don't want to get into the current they stay out of the current so you know that conserves most of their energy and they just wait for something to drift by them and they strike so just be patient and once you feel like your bait has rolled out of the strike zone then reel in and cast again you know cast up current so that you come come back to uh, come back to the point where it, it rolls past the strike zone oh oh yeah oh come on come on come on did I get him oh I just reeled past the fish while I was reeling, oh yeah, yeah, there they go. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I was just reeling my line in. <laughs> and for the movement, this guy got hooked. Oh, I don't know what it is. Feels, feels all right. Not too small, yeah. Take my time with him. Oh 
Oh yeah, he definitely feels decent. Oh, whoa, he's pulling line. He's pulling line. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta take my time with this guy. If he wants to go, let him go. Yeah, look at this. That's a good, good fish. Oh, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful though. I can't let it run too much. I think it's a Trevelli guys. He, yeah, he's right near this reef though. I don't I, I need him to be tired when he comes over. He's right in the reef. Ooh. Get him over, get him over. Yes, I got him over. Oh, that was a mission. Okay, okay, he's in the shallows now, guys. He's in the shallows now. Oh, what is that? Hey, Parau, I think, right? Which one? Oh my gosh. How can we land this guy? Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, it's a big time at Trevelli, man. Which one? Oh. Oh, my lord. Oh. Which one? Come and hold this. Come and hold this. No, come, come, come up here. Come up here. Hold the rod tip up high. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold that. Hold that. Oh Lord. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Give me the, give me the leader. Give me the leader. Pull, pull, pull. Which one? Pull. Hey, woo. What, guys? Take this, take this, take this. Ah. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Whoa, look at that, guys. Look at that. Holy moly. Oh, it's already in deep, man. I don't think I can release. Patience is the name of the game. <laughs> Beautiful diamond from the When drifting your bait while surf fishing, right? Tip number two that's going to help you guys out a lot is to have a very or try to get a very sensitive rod you know whatever your budget can afford try to go for the most because gen generally when you go higher up in cost the components and the actual uh, material of the blank also uh, is better if you have a good blank on your rod especially when you're drift fishing like we are today the, when your weight uh, or your lead is bouncing around the bottom and rolling around in the current it gives you some serious feedback to your hands especially if you're using braid so always try guys to you know when you're surf fishing try to get the best rod that you can you know even if you can spend 20 or 30 dollars more do that because it's, it's worth it because right now when when you're drifting the bait 
you know, that sensitivity, the feedback you feel to your hand is really valuable. You know, it lets you know when, you're, when you have gone past the strike point. It, know, it lets you know when you're going into very uh, uh, snaggy areas even, you know, and you have kind of a forewarning to uh, pull your line in. So, yeah, if I could advise you guys, you know, when it comes to the rod, don't skimp out. Try to get a good rod. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, okay. <laughs> Loosen the drag. Oh, he's... Oh, yes. Okay, that's a good fish. Macham, be very careful when you come to the close reef, huh? Take your time. Take your time. Oh, very nice. Nice, very nice. Hey, another diamond! Yeah. Holy moly, come on! Nice! Beauty! Oh, he swallowed the hook deep too, no? There you go, guys. Another beautiful tra travelli. Diamond travelli, another one. Oh, but he swallowed the hook in deep, huh? Yeah. All right. No chance. No chance. Let's get him out. Yes. That's the second one, guys. <laughs> good day, good day, good day. When you're fishing, when you're surf fishing, know, know your surrounding, right? Here we have a fahari that we're casting off to. That's where all these fish are biting, right? But when we're bringing it in here, there is also a reef that runs really close to us. So you need to make sure that the fish is tired by the time it gets over the reef, unless it's going to cut you off, right? So take your time, play with the fish, enjoy your surroundings. Tip number three.